by considering the function f of x is 1 over x, sketch a graph of g of x is equal to f of x minus 2 plus 1, and write down this function. Okay, so draw a set of axes, and then draw y is equal to 1 over x. I'll draw it dotted because I'm going to use this to draw another one. We know it would go through the point 1, 1, because 1 divided by 1 is uh, 1. So that's a good way of helping you to draw where it actually sort of turns around. We know that the uh, x, sorry, the y-axis here is a vertical asymptote and the x-axis here is a horizontal asymptote. So we've got g of x is equal to f of x minus 2 plus 1. So what does f of x minus 2 uh, mean? It means all the coordinates are moved two units to the uh, Right, and, and the easiest thing to move, first of all, is the asymptote. So let's just move the asymptote two units to x is equal to 2. And then we got the uh, plus 1 on the end. What that does, it moves everything up by one unit. Okay, so that means that the horizontal asymptote will move up one unit. Right, so that makes that bit very easy to draw. However, we don't really know where it's going to cut the axis, so we need to do a little bit more algebra here. So we've got f of uh, x minus 2 plus 1 means 1 over x, so 1 over x minus 2 plus 1. To put that over a common denominator, that will be 1 plus x minus 2 over x minus 2. Uh, 1 minus 2 gives me minus 1, so I get g of x is x minus 1 over x minus 2. So I've actually written down the function. For the x-axis, y is equal to 0. So the denominator cannot be equal to 0. It's not, it's not, it's not possible for it to be equal to 0. So all I need to do is consider that x minus 1 is equal to 0, which gives that x is equal to 1. We'll mark that point on our graph. And then for the y-axis, I just put x is equal to 0 in the function. So I'm going to have minus 1 over minus 2, which gives me a half. And so I'm going to put that point on my graph as well. So I've now got the bit that I need, so I can now draw it. And now I have the function f of x as x minus 1 over x minus 2. Now this sort of function, this is a linear function, this is a linear function. So the name of this type of function, when it's written like this, is called the bilinear function. Okay, so this has been a video to show you about translations using the uh, reciprocal function 1 over x and finding a new function using some trans uh, translations. Okay, basically this is a translation to 1, if you want to write it in vector form. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.